What's going on everyone? Daily Dose here. And in today's video, we're gonna be discussing gabapentin and what it is primarily prescribed for in a psychiatric setting, which it is commonly prescribed for many different things, which we will jump into. And in particular, we will discuss how it can specifically help with substance abuse withdrawal and how it could potentially be an approved medication for even methamphetamine withdrawal. Like and subscribe. Now, go on down, Leia, come on. All right, so number one. First, gabapentin, you gotta understand, is a treatment for inflammation and nerve pain and a lot of conditions such as like fibromyalgia, a lot of different neurological conditions. So it is prescribed for this as well. However, for, for patients going through the detox, a lot of times in particular, if somebody is going through, let's just say meth withdrawal, if they've been using meth for a hefty amount of time or more particular, they've been shooting up, a lot of times there's things like der uh, nerve damage and inflammation, which once again, it can help with this. So that is one of the, that is one thing to know is there's a broad spectrum of ways this medication is prescribed and there's a lot of off-label uses. All right, so the second thing, there have been studies done that shows that it can reduce cravings. Now, there is no actual approved treatment for methamphetamine, uh, for methamphetamine use disorder. There's no actual approved treatment. However, off-label use, sometimes by even psychiatrists, what I've seen as a psychiatric RN, is it can be used, once again, for someone, once again, that's going that has nerve pain related to meth use, inflammation, it'll be prescribed. Also for things such as anxiety coming off of medic off of, you know, medications or street drugs, opiates, opioids, methamphetamine, even cannabis for that extent, it is good when there is anxiety. It is good it is good for anxiety and in particular with substance abuse withdrawal, and this goes for a lot of different types of withdrawal. Everyone's different. Also, obviously everyone has a different body chemistry. Some people might have an allergy to it, but I will say in general, it is and has been shown to help in particular with opioid and opi opiate and opioid use disorder more so, but also just the potential it could in particular with methamphetamine use disorder in using meth, how it could potentially be something that, you know, in the future, if it helps with cravings in combination with something else even, that's great. So that's number two is understanding that it can help with cravings from a, from a, lot, of, from a lot of different types of withdrawal from opioid, opioid, opiate and opioids, meth, you name it, and even coming off of even uh, pharmaceuticals as well. So that's number two. Number three, a common medication that is prescribed with gabapentin is Welbutrin. Welbutrin as an SSNRI, it can be prescribed as a mood stabilizer. It is also good in particular, we're focusing on methamphetamine in particular with, for this, even though, it's not a, even though it's not an approved medication, it's prescribed off label for cravings long term and it is also used once again it's very good Wellbutrin is very good in conjunction with gabapentin gabapentin is an anticonvulsant once again and we've already discussed gabapentin up to this point there's a broad spectrum of uses and off in off-label ways people that doctors prescribe it but if you think about it well, butrin and gabapentin in being prescribed together or being used together, it has been shown that for people who are going, who are detoxing off of meth, that it can be a medication that you can be, that somebody can start taking within typically a week after, after starting the detox, sometimes even earlier, because a lot of times there's patients who are using meth or opioids and they have prescribed medications with it. But well, let's say this person is just using meth alone. They typically probably wait about a week, but Wellbutrin can help with the energy and the pain, once again, in the anxiety 
could be addressed with gabapentin. So that's why they're used together. That was a long rant, I know, but that's that's a combination of meds that can be prescribed in particular for methamphetamine use disorder. And finally, number four, never stop taking the medication without talking to your doctor, meaning don't cold turkey it, do not stop abruptly. Because as a result of this, gabapentin, and this is with a lot of different psychiatric medication uh, medications in general, is if you stop abruptly with this in particular and things such as benzos, seizures can happen. Also really bad rebound tendencies of potential suicidal ideation, things of that nature. Anxiety can spike through the roof. Your depression can go from moderate to from passive SI to active SI or just in general more suicidal potential tendency sometimes with it. So never stop abruptly, always discuss with your doctor if you're trying to get off of a medication. Very, very important. And once again, I made this video because once again, gabapentin is something that is prescribed in Lyrica as well. I, we've talked about how they're very use, how they're very similar. Lyrica is controlled though. But just, we talked about this medication because this is a medication that is very, that is commonly prescribed across all areas from psych to the medical side there's so many different uses but there needs to be some education with it and why i'm covering this is looking at this from physical but also once again the mental the mental side of this so we're going to be doing we're going to be covering specific medications like this need to know information from if it's a medication that's prescribed while you are going while you're um withdrawing from for example meth opiates or opioids or you have questions about it in general because it has been shown to help people detoxing so we're going to cover other medications like this in the near future but once again meth is not and methamphetamine use disorder has no approved treatments this is why i'm going to be covering a lot of different medications so gabapentin is something off label that is prescribed as stated when talking about this in particular with gabapentin but there are a lot of other medications if this for example is something that does not work that has not worked or things for patients in general I'll say like this hasn't worked some other medications that have worked for different types of withdrawal i'll be going i'll be going over that as well so this is your daily dose of mental health like and subscribe leave a comment if gabapentin's ever helped you in any way if you've used it for detox or just some other education points. I talk about this because I work in the psychiatric setting and I am an RN. So once again, thank you to all the new subscribers. Like and subscribe, leave a comment.